I grew up on a dairy farm in uh, Wisconsin, on the Minnesota-Wisconsin border. I moved up here in 2000 and uh, found this property and bought 100 chickens. <laughs> My name is Dale Volkert, and we're a farmer here at Lake Meadow Naturals in Okoye, Florida. We, we focus on poultry and eggs. That's our main focus. But working with other farms that, that had an interest in, in lamb or beef, uh, and our customers need and desire to want it, we expanded that way also. I just love having children come and have a baby chick come out of an egg, or them see how a chicken lays an egg, or it's just inspiring to know that they may have never had a chance to see that. Something that I took for granted. Uh, my son was going to UCF at the time. And uh, we had torn all the broken down fences and posts down here. And I'm on a big pile in the pasture. And he calls and he says, can I bring some friends out to um, burn that pile for you 4th of July? I said, sure. He brought out 32 juniors and seniors in college. Not, not to dismiss the fact that they're educated people. So they spent the night, partied, burnt the wood down. The next morning they got up and they said, what are we gonna have for breakfast? And William said, let's just go out and pluck some eggs and have the eggs. He told me later that three out of the 32 would eat them. They were warm, they were brown, and they weren't in a public's cart. So it hit me back like, wow, are we really that far away are we really that far removed from where our food comes from? Because it was startling to see 30 college educated kids be that afraid to eat something that was just laid. It really kind of hit me. Another big part is educating people that it just doesn't come from a store, that you just don't have a machine that pops out a dozen large eggs or a dozen medium eggs or a dozen jumbo eggs that they lay whatever they want. It's our job to separate them. Um, I think people have become so used to perfection that they open something up because it's manufactured. It's, it's punched out. It's every, every M&M is the same and every, and here you don't do that. And there was times when I couldn't even give the eggs away because they were, they were considered undesirable because they were laid on a farm, they would say. Well, <laughs> We process, we take all our chickens to a USDA processing plant. We have chicken hotels made, they're five stories high. Um, so they're, they're, they leave here in a comfortable and as comfortable an environment as possible. There is nothing glamorous about process of slaughter. It's not, it's not, it's part of life. My dad taught me it's, it's, it's a circle of life, it's not a horseshoe. So uh, it, it is the, we're all gonna go down that road, it's just how we do it. Um, is it my favorite part? No, it's probably my worst part, but it's also uh, a part that's necessary. I remember as a child, I couldn't kill any chickens, and, and my dad subsidized me at first. When I started raising chickens, he would buy my feed, and he would buy my chickens, and pretty soon he said, you know what? He says, you need to learn that they have to pay for what you're doing. So he says, if you can't learn to process chickens, I'm not gonna buy your feed anymore. It taught me about the circle of life, and moving forward, I mean, you have to, in agriculture, you have to produce and move on to the next generation of production. So we use Rhode Island Reds uh, predominantly now. We used to try different breeds and we get the best calmness in chickens and best production out of that, that breed. We do carry some Americanas because it's, they lay the green egg and we have some customers who want that. But we're pretty much down to two varieties for egg production. We sell to the public. Um, we actually sell to health food stores, we sell to produce markets. Um, we're, we're at some of the better hotels and resorts that, that uh, focus on high quality food. I want to give people that want clean food uh, an opportunity to buy it. We're an open book, you can come visit our customers. We say, you know, you can stop in every day, you can stop in, it should be the same. I'm not saying that you don't have bad days and good days like we all do. They may have, we may be processing today and some eggs may tip over, but overall, you should be able to walk in here anytime you want and, and like what you see. Um, we just do what, treat animals the way they should be treated and they give you back their life. I think uh, with NZM procuring free range food, just lets the people know in our community that we are trying to bring a healthier 
style to food in, in our community.